What's going on, champs? Here we've got a uh, 2008 Gibson Longhorn in trans blue. This is a rare species. It is a rare species. Uh, they only made a thousand of them. It's a guitar of the month. For anybody that doesn't know, uh, I, don't, I think 2008 was maybe the year. They, I'm sure that they did other stuff. I actually don't know, so I am one of those that doesn't know. They did a guitar every month, like a series. In 2008, at least. Yeah, yeah like, for sure. Yeah, like this and the Diablo. Uh, they did a, a, a number of them. Yeah. I think 08 might have been the only year that they did them. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, but it's cool. <laughs> Okay, so the weight on this one is seven pounds, 12 ounces. It's got a, a slim taper neck. The uh, nut width is 1.72 inches. The uh, depth at the first fret is 0.82 inches and the depth at the 12th fret is 0.90 inches. It's got a ebony fingerboard, your block inlays, has uh for pickups it has a pair of emg 85 pickups those are factory original and then it also uh has a piezo pickup in the uh in the bridge and so and it's and got also an input on the yeah side. it's got separate inputs for that which i think we'll be able to show off some of that yeah this guitar is um gosh man it's it's really really unique looking uh the whoever's looking at this you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it it's it's uh i don't think that there's any in the middles with this i really like this a lot but here's my thing is i get i don't want to say i get sick of it because i don't get sick of it yeah les pauls 335 shape sg shapes you know it's just it's really refreshing to see something quirky and goofy from gibson yeah and you would think that they probably feel that way too like how many gibson how many rad gibsons leave that place that they're like uh yeah. nothing you know so something like this everybody's probably pumped on yeah and it's, and it's really, really cool. uh it's really good looking man the binding on the body and then it's also oh, yeah. got your binding on the headstock similar to uh what a, a custom would have and then uh it's got your uh i don't know if that's a a martini glass i think that's what it is the martini glass logo um it's either a martini glass or ice cream either i'd, I'd have i choose to believe it's ice cream yeah let's just let's <laughs> stick with ice cream yeah so but it's it's a very unique unique guitar but let's, let's hear, hear what she queens. sounds like everything's turned up we're on the emg 85 that's in the neck yeah position let's go middle okay Let's try it. Let's do it 30. Obviously, a lot of sustain on it. A lot of sustain. Two EMG 85s, the dirty's gonna sound great on this. Yeah, and you, they're the same pickup, just in a different place. And that's yep. crazy how that, let's do a chord so you can really tell. That's in the, in the uh, neck position. Okay. difference just by placement of right. where they are that's a lot of tonal it's difference. really cool let's uh with do this one it's oh yeah definitely sounds got that acoustic sound to it yeah that sounds great 
right? Dude, yeah, that's... I mean... It's a lot of... A lot of tones, even though you have... And, and the same pickup, they sound... 285s? Yeah. Yep. We're well, right on, man. man. Sick guitar. Yep. Okay, now that you have uh, seen and heard us play this, let's go over the condition. I gave this guitar an 8 out of 10. It's got some light scratches, dings, and some wear in the back. Let's check it out. Yeah, just right off the bat, you can you can just see those light scratches and dings. Okay, let's check out this nice ebony fingerboard. And the frets on this guitar are perfect. And front of the headstock looks nice, just got some light scratches, but nothing crazy. And we'll flip this over. And there we go, back of the headstock, row number 0171. Eight zero four zero zero. There's your made in USA, 2008. Uh, it's number 58 out of, I don't know what the number is, but I feel like it's 400. Uh, back of the headstock, no cracks or anything like that. And uh, let's check out the back of the neck. Back of the neck looks good. There's no scratches or there's no dings or anything like that. Okay, and the back of the guitar. We do have some wear in the back of the guitar. I'll probably, I know in the beginning I said I gave this guitar an 8. I'll probably give it a 7.5. It's just got a little bit more wear than I would like to give an 8 to. Cool, we can show the back a little bit more. Cool, well, there we have it.